Uh, talk about uh, go to the, the regionals and a place where you guys competed at earlier in the season. How much is that going to help you guys, knowing that you're familiar with this course? Oh, we have a huge advantage having already seen the course. Um, we already know like the spots where it's tough. There's a incline at one of them, which is just a small kind of long hill. But we know we have a better understanding for the course, so I think it's a great advantage. And it's good that we saw the course earlier this year. After competing at the uh, at the conference event a couple weeks back over in uh, Chico, how much more now do you guys uh, want to have a, a, a better outcome? How, how much more after you, you know the performance, you know training, getting ready uh, for this one? I think a lot of us, at least on the women's side, we've had good races individually, just not at the same time. But we've been working out a lot at Health Sport, the complex the soccer fields over there, so. It's all the grass workouts, doing thousands and two thousand meter repeats. And I feel like we have a really good shot. We've been having great workouts, and I think we'll all be there on the same day. And, and a meet uh, as big as this, uh, regionals. Uh, how, how, I mean, how does somebody you know you know uh, you know prepare and uh, actually compete in this event? Is there things that you would do differently than say um, the regular season? Well, it is different because there's more um, you're going up against more opponents. A bigger field, so getting out is always tough, and not being too far in the back. Just um, getting a good start is really important. Knowing your placing and not falling off, or letting having a lot of people in front of you discourage you. So it's important to uh, get your footing early on in the race, so you can hold that. I think. Um, you know, the coach, a local guy, your local gal, a graduate of uh, Eureka, yeah. and for the teams to have local athletes, uh, how, how, how nice is that uh, for you? I mean, you make it a college level, you have athletes from, coming from all over, but to have a, a local runner, uh, how, how great is that for you? Well, it's definitely nice being local, just having the community support around, knowing uh, Mike and Scott from before, and just seeing people throughout the community, even when I'm not practicing, or. I don't know, just getting the encouragement from everyone. How quickly has the season gone? It seems like just yesterday you guys were at Patrick's Point climbing that uh, hill, and now uh, here you guys are at uh, Regionals. Yeah, it's actually gone really quick. I don't know, it just kind of flew by. <laughs> uh, Great. Uh, now, uh, this is the Regionals obviously coming up. It's not, it's bigger, much bigger race obviously than the regular season. Do you approach it or prepare for it any differently, or do you try to stay the same and be confident in what you've already done as they go forward? Well, I try to not think about it too much mentally or change that aspect in racing because that'll sometimes bog you down. But I mean, it is a bigger race and there's more pressure, of course. So, I mean, you want to do well at this one so you can qualify for nationals. So, just having your head and knowing where you want to be at each point in the race, of course, I'm sticking to that.